How do you do so many water changes and it looks the same? Let me see. It looks a little lighter. Yeah. What's up, briefers? Welcome back to another episode of Zoa Team Boys. In this episode, guys, we're gonna talk about a lot of crazy things. So, in my tank, my water parameters, I haven't tested it for about six months, and I recently did a test, guys, and it will blow your mind. The longest time ever, I was using those little shake testers for the nitrates and all that stuff, and I was doing it wrong. But I thought my nitrates were great, and I recently did one, and it's scary. So I'm actually gonna do a test now to show you guys, because surprisingly, the tank is looking really, really good, and what made me wanna test everything was the fact that one of my torches started doing polyp bailout. So let's take a look at the test and those corals. I've been using the API test kit, and like a big old dummy, like most guys, we don't read instructions. So we just looked at the bottle, 10 drops this, 10 drops that, boom, ready to go. But guys, there's instructions. Okay, so the first instruction, if you've never done this, is you're gonna add the 10 droplets of the first solution, then you vigorously shake the second bottle, then add it, and then shake the whole thing for X amount of time. So it's not just mixing them. So the test kit brings two little solutions. And guys, for everybody out there, I'm aware this is not the most accurate test kit. There are a vast selection of them. This was just kind of like a quick fix that I had and will let me gauge how my parameters are. But here you have bottle one and bottle two. And this is what I'm gonna use to test my nitrates, okay? Looks good. Now guys, I do have to say, okay, um, on this tank, I've been doing a lot of water changes since the first time that I saw the first test result. So this is my second or third time testing it after a 30 gallon water change. I cleaned out my sump. I used to have a whole bunch of live rock. I took it all out just in case the tritus was down there. I also took out all the media that I was running just in case there were a couple nitrate bombs that I didn't t replace quick enough. So, um, now, it's only been less than three or maybe, maybe four or five days since I discovered this. So I've also lowered my feeding. I did overfeed a lot. But I do think that's the reason why my Zoanthids always did so well. Um, so let's test this real quick and see what it comes out to be. And I'm also gonna give you guys a glimpse of the actual tank because you'll be surprised. If I were to tell you what these levels are, guys, I mean, you just saw. Uh, I mean, some people would say they were 40, 80, 160 PPM. Everything's looking incredible with the exception of maybe one or two corals. You have your first bottle, you're gonna add 10 little drops, droplets of this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I always have to move my hand quick on the last one because you'd be surprised how many times I messed that up. Okay, this bottle now, you gotta shake for 30 seconds. Alexa, set a 30 second timer. This is the step that I wasn't doing before, which is why whenever I would put my stuff in, it would never pull an accurate reading. And I always thought my tank was super clean. Guys, don't fall off your chair when you see this. As soon as we get this result, we're going to the LFS um, to get some water. So today I do a big water change. Um, and again, this is like my third or fourth water change, 30 gallon water change. Alexa, stop. All right, so now we put the 10 droplets and then we shake it for a minute. Guys, all this stuff I was never doing before. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, okay, lady. All right, so now you shake this for a minute. Guys, I never did this before either. 
So this is the first time I'm testing it after my recent water change and nitrates usually get exported with a water change. So water changes, lighten the feeding. I am gonna be building a refugium. I already ordered my light. Um, so that's gonna be the next video. But I think what's really gonna help this is gonna be continue the water changes, lighten my feed load. Guys, look at this sucker. This thing looks like, like, I don't even know what to say. So I'm gonna test it, then I'm gonna go to the alpha. So I'm gonna get this tested again, <laughs> just to make sure. If I can put that TikTok song in here. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> That's what this should be. Do you see this? Somebody look at this. Alexa, stop. All right. Oh, Lord. So this is probably about 40 ppm. Folks, this, what would you say about a week ago? Was blood red. You could not see through this. What does this look like, orange? Mm -hmm. So it's gone down. It's a light orange. Okay, so it's gone down a lot. So it's probably about 40 parts per million, give or take. Now it does say leave it for a couple minutes to let it process. So we'll leave it, but it does look like it's about 40 ppm. It's kind of hard to tell for you guys, but I can see it perfectly fine. This thing was blood, blood red. So we're about to go do a water change and all that stuff. But before we do that, let's take a look at the tank. Lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah. I've been working nightly. If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely. I'd be taking shots, yeah. Cold blooded, icy. Watching numbers grow. I'm going to read the instructions because maybe I'm doing it wrong. All right. Fill the test tube to the five mil. Done. Add 10 droplets of the first solution, holding the droplet bottle upside down in complete vertical position. We'll do that. You've done that. Cap the test tube and invert it several times. Haven't done that. What's invert it mean? Like, shake it by itself privately. It. Not oh. on the first phase. Okay. Vigorously shake the second bottle for 30 seconds. We did that. This step is extremely important. We did that. Now add 10 droplets. Holding the upside down. Da, 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 da. Cap the test tube and shake vigorously for one minute. We've done that. So the only thing you didn't do was shake it after the first one. So let's try it. Here goes nothing. Bottle one at 10. Upside down. Oh, I'm so nervous. Upside down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'll shake a little bit. Was that eleven? No, ten. Okay. Just said the wood a couple times, baby. That's it. Couples twice. Okay. Alexa, set a thirty-second timer. Thirty seconds starting now. Thirty Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the game changer. Maybe my water's pristine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what's crazy is I don't know how my tank looks so good. I mean, with the exception of one or two corals, that one head, all the other torches are fine. The euphilias are fine. Um, 
I mean, everything looks good. You're so hairy. I'm so hairy? I did lumberjack. You guys hear this woman? I have, I have a lot of nitrates. Alexa, stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is it. It's yellow. Hold on, it always starts yellow. It always starts yellow. What color is it supposed to be? Yellow. Hopefully it stays like that. Oh. <laughs> in the pond. Oh, guys, we were doing a water change in our pond. <laughs> that almost killed all our fish. That was pretty funny. All right, guys, well, to be honest with you, it's looking less orange. Oh, I think I spoke too soon. This is definitely way lighter than before. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it was like a red orange before. Alexa, stop. How do you do so many water changes and it looks the same? Let me see. I mean, it looks a little lighter. Yeah, but if you hold it here, it looks lighter. But if you hold it out here, it looks darker. But if you hold it here, it's a little lighter. It looks red. 40? Yeah. Well, guys, I guess everybody's gonna die. No, I'm just kidding. No, I don't think it's 40. I think it's 20. It's more like 20. It looks 40, babe. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just ordered a refugium light, the UFO refugium light, um, and my LFS today that I went to has Chato, so Kato. So we're actually going to be uh, starting a refugium in here, I already have a power head running in there, it's already parted off. So on Friday there'll be a new episode where all I do is set up that refugium and hopefully that helps me with this. I have been doing water changes, other than that one core right there with that head loss, everything is doing good. So leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, my last solution is gonna be lowering my uh, fish load. But um, again, I don't know if I wanna do that based on the fact that everything is doing good. So don't forget, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, comment is the easiest way to support the channel. Till next time, Zoltink boys out.